so yeah I just wanted to leave you guys a quick update on all things happening for the Bug Zapper channel specifically for the monkey bike which has been seeing a lot of use in the last few months and that's actually the reason why I haven't uploaded many videos during summer so here it goes first road trips I've been on a few road trips this year enjoying the hot but not so hot weather we have and I gotta say they were all fantastic there will be videos coming out as soon as I edit them in the next few weeks from me going to Spain to me going to Spain again but with Miss Bug Zapper and to a different part of the country to me going south by the coast with another friend and there will be a few other videos like meeting a lot of monkey bikes at a mini Honda meetup that happened in Braga earlier this year plus these white wall tires as you can see they look wonderful on the bike they look just fantastic I think that they match really well with the fuel tank with the white strip these are Shinko white wall tires and as you can see here the size is a 70 in height which means it's just like the Bridgestones I had it's one size smaller than factory size for the monkey it is though the same size for the MSX ROM bikes the Bridgestone ML50s were fantastic little tires they had as much grip as you could ever ask of one of these donuts but they, the rear one did not last very long it did last for 8000 kilometers which in my book is not a lot they did go all up and down and around on these road trips and then I put this new one in just waiting for the rain and winter the Bridgestones were actually fantastic on the rain they're the best tire on this little 1 to 5 that I have ever tried even better than the Metzeler Feel Free Winter Techs we will see how these Shinko tires handle the rain you can see that they have a lot of displacement water ridges I have caught uh, some wet roads already with them they were just fine but the cold is still to come we'll see now those kilometers have piled up which means that this bike is now almost 10,000 kilometers old I guess there's some free LS2 helmets advertising right there I don't have one anymore but still so yeah this bike has seen a lot of road and I'll show you I hope we can see with the Sun yeah that's almost 10,000 that's almost 9,500 she'll get there very shortly there will be a video on the ownership of this bike for one year I'll do a one year review long term review on this there will be a lot of positive points I really really like this bike there will be a few negative we'll see another point is that the phaser is gone my Yamaha FZX FZS 600 I sold it off a few months ago actually you can still see her in a lot of clips and we'll still continue to see but yeah she's gone and there's a new bike on the way I got myself a deal on a bike that needed a little care and attention I'm taking care of that and then I'll be able to show it to you and to enjoy it actually another thing that's happened is that I had a little issue with the seat can see how loose it is there's actually some rubber things underneath it where it touches the frame and they have completely been destroyed I'm gonna have to replace those I actually got the new ones from Honda already I made a warranty claim and they just gave them to me they are very cheap they're like less than three euro I believe for the pair of things but now I have to replace them because this 
this is just not working. I mean, I know I'm a little bit heavy and this bike has been going on for a lot of kilometers with me on it, but it still cannot happen. I actually wasn't the one who noticed this because all seats have a little bit of give to them. This is actually worse now than it used to be. But when I was at that Honda meetup, one of them, the other guys with bikes just like this one, they noticed that you know, my seat was shifting a bit too much and theirs doesn't. So there must be something wrong here. And if you own a monkey bike, you know that it's not easy to open the seat. I mean, there's no keyhole to put it in. This actually takes this part out and inside of it, you have the small toolkit, which gives you the tool necessary to take a bolt out here and another one on the other side and then the seat is off so still we did it and we noticed that the rubber things were completely gone I mean they were smooshed but that should be fixed soon as soon as I have the patience for it hell you know what I'll just do it as soon as I get home right now finally there's now an Instagram page for Bug Zapper. You can find it at Bug Zapper 1. Expect to see a lot more activity there than I used to put on Facebook, which is still up. I will still post a couple things there and let you know about the latest videos. But Instagram is the place to go after YouTube from now on. And also, I promise to revamp the Bug Zapper brand and the Bug Zapper image soon enough. I'll be getting a logo, I'll be getting a new intro for the videos and things like that. We'll see. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this on an iPhone 11. I just got it. Seems to be a fantastic device. This is the first time I'm recording a video on it, so I have to get home to see just how good it actually is and of course I got the red one so it matches the bike <laughs> yeah so just to let you know it has been a great summer and I'll show you all about it in the next few videos I do hope you stay tuned I do hope you enjoy them and if you have any suggestions or any ideas for new videos or anything else you wanted to see from these bikes just let me know post it in the comments reach me on instagram or wherever you want i'm open to ideas so yeah see you soon